Well, new this morning, researchers at Scripps Institute of Oceanography say they have unlocked the secrets of a deep sea organism that can cure cancer. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron shows us what this breakthrough means in the fight against other deadly diseases. In this lab at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, researchers have spent 20 years trying to crack the code of a molecule called Salinosporamide A. It comes from a bacteria in the ocean and has been shown to cure brain cancer. They want to know how that bacteria makes that molecule. There's um, a whole pathway that's responsible for making this molecule. And so figuring out, you know, which enzyme in that pathway is the one that actually installs this chemical feature is, is the first step. And that's what Kate Bauman figured out. Building off all the work done before her, Bauman, a graduate student, found the specific enzyme that creates the anti-cancer molecule. The structure is a, a gamma-lactam beta-lactone fused structure. So basically it's a pentagon and a square fused together. That pentagon and square turn into essentially an anti-cancer warhead. The drug based on it is now in phase three clinical trials. Professor Bradley Moore calls it a game changer. So we found a particular enzyme that's able to make this anti-cancer drug in a really simplistic way. And so that's what excited us about this particular discovery. It was crucial to figure all this out because if this drug gets FDA approval, they're going to need a lot of it. So knowing how this process works means they'll be able to make enough for everyone who needs it. If we can find a microbe that can do it in a way that's a little bit easier, uses a little bit less material and pumps out a ton of it, that's really what we're hoping to be able to do with this discovery. It could also lead to other drugs. Now that researchers understand the enzyme, they can try to manipulate it to fight other cancers or autoimmune diseases all from a bacteria in the ocean and 20 years of work coming together. You know, there's no glioblastoma in the ocean, um, but it's fascinating that we as humans can repurpose it um, as a drug. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Very exciting. The uh, lab published their findings this week, also presented them at the American Chemical Society convention downtown.